Hi, it's Vicky with Condi Tech Support. I want to show you how to import an image into Corel X5 using, actually, you could use any Corel Draw version. And um, the basis of this video is to show you how to size an image. So we're going to be sizing an image to fit a template that I already have on screen here. It's a four inch tile. I've added uh, point 0.125 for bleed area. So it's, it's approximately um, 4.125 um, an exact square. So I'm going to import an image and then I'm going to show you how to size it for a template uh, using your tools within the Corel Draw. This would work again for all Corel Draw versions uh, for sizing image and importing into a um, template here. So first thing I want to do is click on File and with Corel Draw you have to import not open and I'm going to select an image from within my uh, uh, image folder and we're just going to find something here and we're going to import so I'm going to left click on import and that's going to give me um, it's asking me what default color palette I want to use and this is the one that uh, I want to use the sRGB for our profiles here at Condi. I'm going to left click on OK and that gives me a little um, scale to place on my document. I'll just usually go up to the corner here and then left click and it places my document or my image onto the document. So what I have here is a um, large image. Obviously it's larger than my tile and you can see my uh, sizes here and this is where I want to get into showing you uh, how to size and where to go to size your image. Um, so of course we've got to reduce this image down to fit into that four inch tile. So looking at the sizes here we have um, we have 11.111 by 8.333 so to make this image work first thing I want to do is is bring the size down to a uh, something that I can work with. So if you see this little lock ratio here, I want to lock that because if I don't, then when I start sizing, it's going to distort the image. It's going to stretch it one way or the other. And I want to keep this image in proportion as best I can so that I can work with it. Uh, so I'm going to left click here and that's going to close the uh, lock where you can see here it's closed and I'm going to start sizing this image so that when I change the size for one dimension I've, I've changed the, the size for all so um, I'm going to start with the smallest end and uh, I'm just going to type 4.125 and click enter and that brings my image down to a size that I can start working with. Now this area here, the template is 4.125 so we're gonna have to crop the image a little bit and that means we're gonna lose a little bit of the image. So I'm gonna use my crop tool and I'm just gonna draw a square because I'm gonna size the square and it's not gonna matter. I'm gonna blow this up just a little bit so we can see it better. And you can see my border here for the crop tool. This is where it would be cropped at should I finish editing now. But what I want to do is try to get this squared in. And I'm going to click and left click and hold to drag this um, to a place where I can start working with it. And as you can see, Okay. Now what that gives me here is four. Um, this is 4.424. So I want to close this up a little bit because I know I've got to be 4.125. And now I can just kind of slide this over. And that's about got everything in and just double click to close it and now I'm ready to um, 
I've got a perfectly squared image so you can see I lost a little bit but that's okay because uh, to size this so that it doesn't distort it you may lose some parts of the image so you have to compromise uh, you would have to compromise to get the image in there without distorting it so I'm going to left click on my pick tool and now I can move this and uh, fit it into my template so I've rolled it out so we can see both the template and the image and I want to go to of course select your image got the bounding box around it we we'll go to effects I'm going to go to power clip left click on place inside container and as you can see now um, my image is uh, perfectly fit for this template and so uh, that's how you do a size and cropping so what we've done here is demonstrated how to crop the image size the image and place the image into a template using the power clip I hope this has helped with uh, Corel Draw versions you could do this with all the Corel Draw X3, X4, and X5. It should also work with uh, version 9 and uh, some of the other versions in between. So if you have any questions on how to do this, you can give me a call at 1 800 826 6332. Anyone in support should probably be able to help with how to crop the images, size the images, and also using the uh, Power Clip tool. My name is Vicki, and again, thank you for your time.